We believe that the ECB needs to take side effects of monetary action more seriously than it has in the past, when the message has always been, we got it covered next. We believe the ECB's credibility is at stake regarding the mandates, not from the people who watch five-year, five-year forward inflation swaps, who bet on harmonized consumer price indices, but from people who see the value of their money eroded in the name of inflation fighting, um, as Mr. Lane has uh, mapped out, from people who have to save money in order to buy things. Orthodox arguments that asset price inflation is irrelevant to price stability sounds grotesque to people who are forced to save at negative rates to come up with a ever bigger deposit to buy a first home. Arguments that negative rates are great to deflate debt is meaningless to someone who has to pay credit card rates. But credibility is also at stake, we think, about allowing free markets, specifically allowing the market to price credit risk. We talk a lot about market neutrality, but the fact is credit spreads are seriously distorted, whether you do the intervention in a market neutral or non-neutral way. Now, Share Action's mission is to get institutional investors to take systemic risk seriously. And that job is made very hard when investors have learned to expect an ECB-induced recompression of credit spreads whenever something bad happens that is not idiosyncratic. Issuers, on the other hand, have learned that markets will be kept open to them, no matter what sector they are in. In that context, I'd like to suggest that the ECB may publish how many hours the ECB executive board members spend with representatives of the financial industry and trade bodies versus how much time they spend with consumer and climate advocates. 